today I would like to show you the miticide strips that we use here in New Zealand to um, keep the rower levels down. Uh, so in New Zealand we treat in spring and autumn uh, and this is to keep the rower levels uh, down in the hive. So none of the ones that we have, none of the miticide strips that we have actually kill all of the rower in the hive but they keep the levels low enough so that the hive can survive. Um, if we didn't treat, the hives would die within a year or two. Um, which is sad, but um, very true. So it's a very important part of beekeeping that needs to be uh, learned and needs to be followed through with. Um, because we treat in the spring and the autumn, it's very important to rotate your strips. So the, the, the um, chemical strips that we have, there are a couple of different chemical classes. Um, and so we, if you use um, a product in the spring, you have to use the opposite um, product in the autumn. So don't you can't always use the same product every year because it's like antibiotics and your bees will and your varroa sorry will become resistant to the chemicals that you're using. So it's very very important to always rotate your products. So I have three products here that we quite often use in New Zealand. We have uh, Bavro, we have Apitraz, and we have Formic Pro. So I will show you how we put them into the hive. But before you even try um, any of these products, you, it's extremely important that you read all of the instructions on the back. Um, so they all do the same job, they all knock down Varroa, but all of them have different instructions on how you put them in, how many you put in, and how long they can stay in the hive. So it's extremely important that you read all of the instructions before you put these in. And also, always, always wear gloves when handling any of these products. They are still a veterinary product, a registered product in New Zealand, and so you have to wear gloves when you handle any of these. So we'll open this hive and we'll show you how they go in there. So all of our miticide strips, we are all um, treating the brood box. So if you've got honey boxes up the top, take them all first and we're only ever dealing with our brood box where all of our brood and bees are. And so if you read the instructions, like I mentioned, some of them, um, they all have different um, instructions on how many you put in. So we're gonna start with Baveroll. So Babe Roll comes in its own, each one is in its own separate foil container, sorry, foil packet. And it says right there, contains four strips. And on the box, it's very specific and says you only use four strips per brood box. So if you were doing double brood box, you would actually need two of these. And again, we're always using gloves. We don't touch any of these products yourself. And you can see these are our four Baveroll strips. So these ones are quite cool. They have a little, um, some little arms at the top and you bend those and then it can actually hang in the hive like that. So the majority of products that we have miticide wise, because they are all, um, most of them are, the, the chemical spreads around by touch. So you need to put them in between the frames where all the bees are walking. And that way the bees can walk all over them and spread that throughout the hive. So all of the miticide strips that we're putting into the hive are trying to kill the mites that are on the bees. So those are called phoretic mites. But a huge majority of the mites are actually underneath the capping and feeding on the pupae right now. So we want to place all of our miticide strips around the capped brood area, which is usually in the center of the hive. Um, so if you read, quite often the instructions can be quite specific and say, put it between frames three, five, seven, and nine. Or basically wherever your um, brood is, you need to sort of double check where all the cat brood is and put it around there. You don't put it smack in the middle, you just put it to the edges of the brood area and you space it around. So this is because, like I say, a lot of that varroa is underneath the capping, but of course when those little baby bees hatch out from underneath there, they will already be carrying varroa on them and hopefully they can straight away walk near these strips and the miticide chemicals on here can then kill the varroa on them. So that's the, the reasoning behind that. So like I say, when we put our bay roll in, we are going to use four per brood box, as the instruction states. Now all I'm doing is very slowly sticking it between the frames here. So as you can our brood is based here. I'm not going to put them right in the middle, I'm just going to put them offset. So bending our little arms first, and then just slowly sliding them through. Now if you have trouble, like if you cannot slide them through, maybe there's wax in the way or too many bees or things like that, you can just help yourself out 
by taking your hive tool and just giving yourself more of a gap in there to slide it through. But as you can see, they're quite thin. So if you have trouble putting the um, miticide strips down um, between the frames, you can actually just get your hive tool and just ever so slowly, slightly, sorry, um, open that, you know, make yourself a little gap to get them through because sometimes maybe there's drone brood in the way or just too many bees and things like that. Um, remember, of course, that your queen is still in here. So just take it a little bit slower. Don't just go and stab them straight in there and stab a queen. So we're just doing everything nice and slowly, nice and carefully, putting it around the edges of the brood, sliding between the frames. And again, so when we put them in there and we have the little arms at the top, that will hold the miticide strip just a little bit off the frame. So it's not actually pressed onto the frame. It's just got a little gap so those bees can hopefully climb on both sides to get all the... Um, miticide to get all the chemical to spread around the hive. So the next product we've got to show is uh, Apitraz. So that's got a chemical called Amitraz in it. Um, and again, talking about the instructions, this one is different. So babe roll, you put in four strips. Uh, Apitraz is very specific and you only put two strips per brood box. Um, so when you open this up, there's actually quite, I think there's a full 10, there is, there's a full 10 strips in here. So you've got to sort of be aware that um, you're going to have too many in here. Okay, so that's, again, always, always, always read the instructions. So as the instructions say, you only use two bird brood books, always wearing safety gloves. And so you can see these are different from the other ones. So this is the way that they go into the hive. So you unpop these and they hang like that inside the hive. And again, this is very much around knowing where your capped brood area is and putting them slightly to the sides but always sort of in the centre of the hive, just offset there. Um, and again, it's very important. So we're talking about the bees touching these and moving that chemical all around the hive. So when you place them in there, you've got to really make sure that the bees can hopefully walk on both sides to get the full chemical into the, into the hive. So there's a little hole at the top and you can actually just get a little piece of wire or a little stick and you just stab it through the little hole at the top there. And it can actually sit between your frames like that so it has that little the little piece of um, wood or, or, or wire there acts as a little um, stake to hold it in place. And again, that's quite easy to do because then you can centre it right in the middle of your frame. So we're talking about the bees walking both sides. So that's a good way to do it. Obviously, if you don't have little sticks or, or bits of wire, it doesn't matter. These are designed to sit like that. So you pull the little arms up. Remember our brood, our capping is in the middle. And so we've, we know it's in the middle there, so we're just going to space these out to the side. So these are a little bit wider and a little bit sort of um, floppier. So sometimes they are a little bit more difficult to put in. But as long as you can quietly slide that in. And like I mentioned before, you can get your hive tool and make a little gap for yourself. But if you just slide that down, and that will just sit there. In your hive. So that's the two ways. So you can use the little stick or a wire or you can just use the little arms to sit there. And spacing it round our brood box, even out so that when the bees all hatch out they will walk through that and spread it through the hive. And so the last one we've got today is called Formic Pro. So this one works a little bit differently and you can read it here. It says that it's a um, it's formic acid in the form of vapour releasing strips. So this one is a little bit different. This one is, instead of the, the bees touching it, it's actually the vapour, the smell that comes off it that um, gets to the varroa. And again, this is, again, reading the instructions, it says here one dose, which is two strips. So this, again, has got only one dose per packet, as does Bave Roll, but Apitraz is a bit different. So again, always read the instructions. And this one also, you place it into the hive differently as well. For this one, you actually um, place it, because it's the vapour, you actually place it on the top of the frames, not in between. So you'll see the, um, the difference here. So the other ones that we've got there are more like a um, uh, sort of a plastic based thing that is embedded with the miticide. And these ones, as you can see, I'll just show you in a second, are quite different. They are more of a, a patty type thing. And they, as it says in there, there's two per packet. So you split these in half. Do not take them out of the paper. The paper just stays on there. And you actually just place these on the top of the hive. Now, these are very, very strong with their smell. I mean, I can smell it quite strongly here. 
So remember to do this. I mean, I know obviously your hives are going to be outside, but just don't um, breathe in the product too much and always, always, always wear gloves. So as soon as we put our box on the top, this vapour is going to get through everything and it's going to get to the bees and get to the varroa and keep it down. So in summary, as we have varroa everywhere here in New Zealand, we have to treat spring and autumn to keep the varroa levels down. And the easiest and safest way to do that is with um, already registered veterinary medicine called miticides. Uh, very easy to put in, very easy to take out. The most important things to remember is always wear gloves because these are chemicals, veterinary medicines, so don't ever um, touch them with your bare hands. Um, always remember to read the instructions. So it's very important that they stay in for the designated time. So the, 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 they stay in for a minimum of six weeks, but that can go all the way up to 10 weeks. And each one is different. So always, always read the instructions. You don't even want to leave your strips in for too long because it's kind of like um, the antibiotics that we as, as, as humans take. It's like they don't want too much of the product or not enough. Like it's very set. So always, always read the instructions. Um, and like I say, here in New Zealand, we spread, treat in spring and autumn. Uh, always remember to read the withholding period. So a lot of them have a time where when you take out the strips, you have to wait a certain time before you're allowed to put honey boxes on. So always read all the instructions before you um, put anything like that into your hive. But uh, they all work really well. And so they keep the varroa levels down to, so that the hives themselves can um, keep on top of it and so that they will not die from varroa, which will happen if you don't treat. So very, very important to learn.